So uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my method for winning solo queue matches. I will start off by saying I'm not the best shooter. Um, I think I'm more of a strategist. I was a coach for our CSGO team when we were playing competitive. Um, and I think that most of the time I'm kind of that uh, big picture player. Um, I'm not just thinking about how to, to rack up kills at a game, but I'm thinking about what is a strategy and where do I need to be next to increase my chance of winning. And that doesn't mean that every game you're going to win. What it does is it increases the probability of you for, for you to win. So when we get into this map right here, we're going to start thinking about what we can do to win a game. Um, and that's how you really gain tiers. It, it really isn't just about getting kills each time. If you, do, if you aren't getting to the helicopter, it doesn't matter. So people are going to choose right off the bat where they're going. And so you're going to see everyone go for four terrifying. It's got some good guns. All right. It's pretty spread out there. Um, Seagull Castle's really common. But I'll choose somewhere. Like if I'm looking for a win and, and really want to like improve um, how I'm doing, I'm going to go somewhere like Scotty or Whitestone. Whitestone usually has a car so I can get anywhere on the map. Um, and since I go climbing pack, and I'll explain why that is, it's not something where you have to really worry about um, you know, being at a high ups place so you can paraglide down or using your snowboard. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the climbing pack. Um, the climbing pack, and I can't say I'm going to win this game by any means. This is just to talk you through what I'm thinking about as I go. So the climbing pack, I, I choose that for two things. Um, first, early game, the shotgun is just unbeatable. If you hit someone with half the pellets on a shotgun at the beginning of the game, you've actually killed them. Um, it, it only takes four of the, the nine pellets of the shotgun to get it. Um, and, and that's it. So um, I know that one per a couple of people spawned here at Alverti. I know Fort Terrifying's got some people spawned at Ring Mouth. This has got some people spawned at it, but I know no one's here. So I'm going to quickly um, grab some uh, loot before this uh, the mirror comes. And um, what I'm aiming for, I, I like 556 five, guns. And, you know, I've got teammates who like to kind of load up on different types of guns, things like that. But what I like to do is I like to get, um, you know, two 5.56 five, guns and a 9mm gun. And the reason why that is, is then I don't have to have two, two more extra types of ammo. I don't have to have 7.62 yeah, seven, and 5.56. Five, All I need to do is collect that 5.56 five, ammo. Um, and think about those 5.56 five, guns. Sometimes um, you'll be stuck, let's say, with the golden gun. Uh, I believe that's a G32 or 36, um, rather than that. So, um, in my best weapons guide that, that uh, Boogerman and I did yesterday, we talked a little bit about the M4 and how that is probably the best uh, gun for beginners. It's also my favorite gun. I don't know if that correlates with anything. Um, maybe because I suck at shooting, but um, for me, I'm just comfortable using them for. Um, I was in the military. It was something I learned. I used to play single shot. I've been playing a little more full auto just in case I run up to someone close range. But what I'm doing right now, like I said, is I'm looting. And I'm just kind of picking up the things that uh, are going to be very valuable to me. Smoke grenades are useful to get you out of situations where um, you might not uh, have cover. There's a lot of, like, flat ground, even around here. Like, this is all flat ground right around here. If, if you get caught out in that, the only way you're getting out of that is smoke grenades or luck where the person can't shoot shit. And, you know, that just happens sometimes. But often, more often than not, I seem to be the guy who's stuck in the middle of nowhere. I'm with nothing. So I'm going to pick up that armor and I'm kind of just checking everything. Make sure to grab the balconies. It's really important. I hate holographics, but I don't have an optic, so I'm going to go with that. Um, going up this ladder, there's usually a gun in here um, or a kit. Nothing there. There's a groza there, like I said. Um, I'm not going to focus on the groza at all. I'm going to quickly check what this is. It's angled foregrip. So um, there was recently a change in the game with the angled grips where um, horizontal recoil actually isn't nearly as bad anymore. And so what you'll see is it slightly reduces horizontal recoil, and that's not something we need. We don't need to reduce uh, horizontal recoil because of that, um, because of that new change. So I like to just quickly switch that out. Um, I forgot the import. I'm sitting here talking to you all. I forgot my import. L-Box is just as good, to be honest. Um, but I had the M4. I was talking about the M4. I'm going switch. There we go. Um, I have a method. I, I would suggest to anybody. Uh, I use an SMG in the first slot, um, AR in the second slot, and then my third slot is always going to be my DMR. So my designated marksman rifle or sniper rifle. Um, I don't have a flash hider for my M4, and I'll talk a little bit about flash hiders here in a second why they're important. I don't have a buttstock to pick that up. Uh, SMGs, because of the rate of fire, really need that extended mag. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, and I kind of just drop things as I go. 
um, those level 2 med packs are probably the best things you can have in the game, especially towards late game. Pack here. And so really, um, I've got a, myself set up now. I'm really set up uh, for almost any engagement right now, uh, medium range at max. I mean, it really is that I'm really probably not going to uh, win an engagement at long range with just a red dot. Um, but right now, like I said, I've, I've got the holographic and the, and the red dot, so I really believe that I can outshoot someone close range if they're on the open, especially in the solos. So, let's see here. Got some 9mm here, gonna pick that up. Uh, with the SMGs, I like to go full auto. You don't can't really have enough ammo, like I said. Um, it's kind of the nice thing about only using two ammo types is you don't really have to worry about getting too much ammo uh, where you're going to be overloaded because I don't have to worry about that 7.62. Uh, and I'm just going to keep on looting. So what you saw just there um, is the mirror, the why is silent supposedly, um, has kept me in. I'm in the zone, um, which is really important for strategizing. So I know there's people at Fort Terrifying. And I know that I'm in the zone. It's so they're going to come probably through Silver Village to me here soon. So I'm going to probably, um, if, I, if I feel confident in a medium to long range engagement, I'll stay where I'm at. Uh, but I also don't want to get shot in the back here. So um, as I'm going away, I'm going to quickly check to make sure no one's up on the ridge line. Um, I haven't heard any shots, but there's 24 players left. So just don't want to get uh, caught out in the open here. One thing some streamers will talk about and that I've seen on a lot of videos is the need to stay moving. And I can't stress that enough. Unless you're really worried about um, running into people in like buildings where they can hear you, I would say keep on moving. Um, it'll keep you alive from snipers. Um, and really, it's just too easy to get headshots on a still target in this game. Um, I, I pick people up all the time. I know our sniper, Boogerman, uh, is grabbing people all the time who are just standing still shooting at people. See? 